Well, the real thing that we're learning about menopause is that we didn't really understand as much as we thought we did about some of the very simple and straightforward symptoms of menopause, including the hot flash and including vaginal symptoms. So from the standpoint of the hot flash, the exciting news in the last year has been the idea that hot flashes can begin much earlier than we ever anticipated, up to 10 years before menopause. And for some women, they can extend much longer than we ever anticipated, at least 10 years. So instead of telling women in our office that, you know, if they don't really want to take a treatment, they can tough it out and it will be gone in a couple years, that that's really an inaccurate approach. And so uh, by learning this, I think it really helps us uh, individualize our care for women, recognize some of the differences and the patterns of hot flashes, and really try to be sensitive to the challenges for women for whom hot flashes can start very early or continue for a very long time. Well, there are more unanswered questions in menopause than there are questions answered. One of the key uh, questions that I I'm really happy is finally starting to be addressed is what is the menopausal hot flash? What are the central neuroendocrine events that contribute to that hot flash? Because um, at this point in time, we don't fully appreciate all that goes into this. Uh, I think once that has been elucidated, we'll be able to be much more focal in pinpointing uh, areas for uh, therapy, uh, particularly relevant to um, hot flashes and vasomotor symptoms. Uh, the other thing about the hot flash that is being uh, increasingly evaluated is whether or not it's just a nuisance symptom, again, the way we've treated it in the past, or if there might be a component of cardiovascular risk associated with the vasomotor symptom, uh, considering that it may be a reflection of endothelial dysfunction. So this, to me, is a very provocative uh, new area of investigation. Uh, that I'm looking forward to added findings and results. Again, that'll really help us know how to counsel all women.